right, we're checking out the only game where the dumber you are, the better a parent you make. It's parenting choices. This is you, and this is your confetti vomiting baby. I appreciate that the child just winked into existence, and the very first thing that this game is giving me agency over is where the child sleeps. Crib or in a box? Now, to be fair, it doesn't say that the box is, you know, like a non-spacious, not tricked out box. We don't know that it's, I don't know, like a Pop-Tart box. That said, I am going to have my child sleep in a box because I need to know. Look at that. That is a substantially sized box. I have no idea what these meters are. I'm assuming this is like intelligence, love, and justice. <laughs> so I lost two of these, but my, my child's ability to exact vengeance is still very high. If you notice, I mean, the child is smiling. They got this table over here with some notepaper on it so he can take notes about the different ways that he'll probably want to kill me. Let's put up new wallpaper. Dogs, cats, nightmare inducing clowns. This is one of those games where they basically lead you into making the worst choices, right? Like who wouldn't pick this? Oh, actually, the ch how come I lost justice off of that? The, the clowns weren't really that bad. Time for baby to sleep. Turn on nightlight. Lights, light a small fire. <laughs> like, are we talking like a campfire like you do inside of a survival game? Leave room completely dark. I mean, it's kind of like camping if we light a small fire. You, oh, it's like a candle. Our, my child got five to everything because of the small fire. See, fire is always the right answer. Should I change diaper? Too expensive, use diaper genie. Are we talking like a literal Aladdin genie or is it like uh, like an automated machine thing that might actually end up flattening my child? I need to know. All right, here's the diaper genie. Oh, it is. It's an actual genie. The genie just wishes diapers on the child. Do, do I get the genie forever? Like, is it mine for, for all time? What should I name the baby? My favorite color, my favorite snack, my favorite clothing brand. Congratulations, child. Your name is Cheetos the Mighty after Cheetos. I like crunchy Cheetos too. Oh, the child is, is vomiting tears. For some reason, the love was very high on that name, but the justice was low. Mother wants to go out. Stay with dad. Leave him alone. Call a nanny. Where is the dad? I haven't actually seen a father. Like, the dad wasn't even involved in the creation of the child. Some sort of manipulation of cosmic energy spawned this child. Also, do you notice that this kid is not even one year old and he's already like half of my height? What do I get to do with my money? As a matter of fact, how am I making money? Is the kid paying me? <laughs> I just, I want to see the dad. Like, where is it? Is he appearing? There's still no dad. Oh, I made it to age one. Good for me. Mm, 450 mom bucks. Choose? A birthday gift. What is this? What? I... What? Oh, God! I don't know if I would want to give that to my child on purpose. I can buy the kids some room stuff or some clothes stuff. What kind of room stuff? Oh, you can have a carpet. You can get some new some new wallpaper. Oh, there's the, there's the devil clown. Is there any plants? I want to buy, like, a plant. Oh, I got this box for free. Isn't that nice? What is this? Oh, God. You know what? Sure. My child is now a walking banana. All right, age one. Still alive. Your baby is crying. We're going to give him some milk, some French's mustard, or some ketchup. Listen up, kid. I love mustard, and so will you. Oh, yeah. He's... Oh, wow. The mustard is, is actually causing him to die. A lot. Teach baby a new word. Mine... No. Hello. I kind of want to teach him no so he can just like voice his discontent for every single choice I make for him. So we'll go ahead and do this. Why do you not want to learn this word? Oh no, I broke my child in two different ways. That's okay though. Hold on. I can pay $200 to immediately resurrect my kid. All right. How about, how about hello? There, that makes him happy. See, he gets 10 brain chunklets. Now he's just randomly crying again. What is wrong? Oh, check the diaper. Give him some money. Needs a spanking. You know what? Kids love money. Look, he does. He probably doesn't even know. He's like, I don't know what this dollar is for, but thank you for giving it to me. All right, my child is crawling. That's good. Push them over. Actually, that'll probably teach him to how to <laughs> probably help him learn how to stand. Oh, no, his justice meter. I, I assume I should encourage the child. Well done, child. I'm not actually physically encouraging you. You'll just have to pretend. What did you do? Made a mess. What did he, did he find like a like an oil geyser? This isn't a mess. It's bubbling like a witch's brew. Use a fire hose. Yeet! 
oh, the kid actually <laughs> kind of seemed like he liked it. <laughs> like he was like, oh, the fire hose is awesome. All right, I guess I should clean gently. Although I will say, oh, I duplicated myself. There's actually two moms now. That's a, am I, am I Kamehameha hang the child? I did. I utilized my Dragon Ball Z powers to clean the child. Baby needs new clothes. Super guy. <laughs> Bat friend or keep dirty. Is bat friend the name of a certain superhero that we can't use due to copyright reasons? I need to know. Bat friend. Ah, yes. Justice. You get a lot of justice with bat friend. <laughs> get. Get what? Is that, a, is that a kitten? It looks like a kitten in a box. I have to have the kitten in the box. You're welcome, kid. You've got a brand new cat to take care of. And I say you because I'm not doing anything for it. Oh yes, that guy. There he is, he's dancing. Well done, my child. Just like any Bruce Wayne wannabe. You need to know how to dance correctly. Now, over here by this cactus, let's go on a trip to the mall, to the zoo, to the casino. If there's one thing you need to learn by the age of two, it's that, I don't know, Vegas has Money, gambling, dancing, girls. Oh no, you don't like gambling? Negative 30 justice. Baby is playing in the trash. What do you do? The baby is in the middle of the living room. Did I just insult my own house? I don't know, explain why, why it's bad, I guess? Oh, my child is even smarter now. Oh yeah, look at him. He's dual wielding markers. Dual wielding. Look, mom, I'm a rapper. Yay. Well done, child. Draw. Oh no, that was a terrible idea. Apparently being a rapper is a bad thing in this world. All right, now I have to cut my child's hair. I'm dual wielding clippers. My kid's not gonna have any hair left. Oh God. I love that the only way to fix your child's hair is to, you know, maybe put like a cowboy hat or half a watermelon on them. Well, Luckily, I happen to have this half a watermelon just laying in the garbage, so I guess you can have it now. Oh, never mind, you can't have it anymore. Baby thinks the fridge is mommy? What? I, how did this happen? <laughs> I thought that my child was supposed to be highly intelligent. It's fine. <laughs> Teach them the truth. Dress the fridge up like you. <laughs> Absolutely. No, why did that give the child justice? The baby needs music to fall asleep. What will you play? Death metal, classical, gangsta rap. And they spelled it gangsta. I think all of these music options are actually quite valuable. That said, we're choosing death metal. Why are you crying about the death metal? It's not that bad. No, he lost all the intelligence I cultivated. <laughs> the baby is hungry. What will you feed them? I, this chair? Because there's no food in this room. Chocolate, a balanced diet, milk only. To be fair, Considering the two things here are cardboard and this chair, he's gonna have a lot of fiber. The baby is lonely. Play with them, leave them in their room, teach them new things. This is really open-ended. Are we talking like how to break into a bank or what am I teaching them? I mean, I'm going to teach him stuff. Maybe it's like a keto or something considering he's bat person or bat friend, whatever the name is. Happy birthday. Have this hideous being on your wall. God, every toy I get this child is just awful. All right, you got your watermelon hat on. That's nice. Maybe there's a new rug or something we can get you. Oh yeah, here's some newspaper on the ground. That's there, that's perfect. I love that it's not even the entire area. It's just like a couple pieces of newspaper. It's like 10 pieces of newspaper. Age three, when should the baby nap? Whenever they act up, nap time when they are tired. Isn't this kind of the same thing? Is it nap time when they're tired? Why are these two options here? I'm just gonna pick when they're tired. He doesn't like that. Oh wait, he does. It, it's, it's filled with love, but it makes him dumber. Baby is potty training and had an accident. Yell at them, clean it. <laughs> Reassure them, great job, child. <laughs> Good, do it again. He's so filled with love right now. Teach baby to say their name, yell at them. Yell at them what? Yell, am I yelling their name or just like randomly? <laughs> what happened to this wallpaper, by the way? What happened to my clown wallpaper? It turned into just random Google images. The baby does need to learn their name because their name is amazing. Your name is Cheetus. Say it, Cheetus. TV is on Sesame Road. Rated R movie love story. I think I was like seven years old when my mom and I watched Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> 
Absolutely. Oh no! No! Alright, I guess we'll go with Sesame Road. That doesn't teach the kid anything, really. I mean, it teaches him a lot of brain power, but he already has full brain power. Going for a drive. No seat belts! How far can baby fly? Pretty far! Baby needs a snack. What's for lunch? Pizza. A pack of gum. I mean, that is technically a snack, but it's not really a lunchtime snack. Just eating the entire pack of gum. It's gonna get lodged inside the digestive system for seven years. Kid's gonna be pooping it out when he's in third grade. I'm gonna go with pizza. Everyone loves pizza. See, told you. Baby is sick. What will you check? My insurance card. Temperature let them to. Yeah, call the doctor. Let the doctor deal with this. That's what I pay for. My child made it to four. How long do I have this kid for? What happens when he ages out? I got you some more nightmare fuel for your birthday. You're welcome. But I'm kind of curious, like, the way he winked into the world. Is he just going to wink his way out of the world? Where should the baby sleep? I mean, the box is, still seems like there's plenty of space. See, he's fine with that. Give the child some independence. What shoes will you put on the baby? High heel sneakers, rollerblades. Oh yeah, my kid's becoming a, a hockey player. Why do you don't like rollerblades? Oh, he kind of actually did like rollerblades. It, it, it increased his intellect somehow. Baby is playing with a knife. Considering his upbringing so far, this seems very normal. How come there's no option for just allowing him to keep the knife? I really don't want to disarm him. I'll end up cutting my own hand off. I will take it away gently, I guess, and then put it under his pillow like the tooth fairy. Baby wants to learn self-defense. Beat the child up? Oh my god. So wait, isn't beating them up kind of helping them? It's just learning by, by doing? I, I want to know what happens here. All right, negative 20, but he still lives. He's probably quite proficient in self-defense now. What movie should the, you let the baby watch? The Incredibles Fast and the Furious. Let's watch the Fast and the Furious. He loves the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> He's gotta know how to drive the Batmobile, I guess. Time to try a musical instrument. The piano, the drums, the electric guitar. Why wouldn't he like the, oh my God, the electric guitar was an awful choice. Why? It's amazing. Someone hit the baby at preschool. Yell at baby. But my baby or the other baby that hit him? How did you let this happen, Cheetahs? If you can beat me up, you can beat anyone up. I'm calling their mom. He liked that. The mom probably didn't. Baby is crying in the mall. Call the police? Actually, if you could beat up the police, you can beat up anyone. He could not beat up the police. Or maybe he did beat up the police. Maybe it was like a back and forth fight. I don't really know. You're late to preschool to pick up a child. Like, a child? Like a different one than mine? How come this isn't say my child? You're, you're late to pick up your child. I guess any child is fine. Call him, call who? The random child, you know what? Yeah, sure, I'll just call the random child. He thinks it's funny. <laughs> you're not the one coming home with me. Oh, he made five. Oh, he actually does age up. He can stand now. That's actually somewhat concerning. Is Santa real? Yes, no. Nothing is real. <laughs> oh my God. I don't want to like destroy your childhood. But not only is Santa not real, I'm actually not real. You're here alone. Oh no! He's still alive. Nothing is real. Baby scraped their knee. They'll be fine. Bruce Wayne got his bones broken all the time. Baby can't tie their shoes. Yeah, tying your shoes is a lot like tying a person up. So you do need to learn this. He's very happy. Oh, baby made a friend. No friend. Bruce Wayne didn't have any friends. Neither do you. Baby got bullied in kindergarten. Teach them karate. I don't really know what martial art I taught the child, like myself, but you can always supplement it with more martial arts. Oh yeah, he likes that. Baby thinks it's their birthday. I mean, yeah, sure, here. Put out this fire. Now he thinks he's six, but he's still only five. What's five plus five? The answer's always zero. In fact, all it's always more zeros. Baby starts banging their head on the wall. Spank them. Bang your head on the wall, watch and clap. All of these answers are terrible. You know what, we'll both get brain damage together. <laughs> yes! My baby made it to six. It's gonna be pretty funny, whoa! Okay, the turtle's a lot smaller than I immediately thought it was. I thought it was the size of like a pony. Is he gonna be like 100 years old and still living with me? What's there to eat? Ice cream, hot dogs and corn. <laughs> like, just hot dogs and like a, like corn off the cob or on the cob or like corn and hot dogs, like a corn dog. I like hot dogs and corn. Who the, what, what's wrong with hot dogs and corn? That's the meat group, the vegetable group, the processed foods group. All right, sports. Skating. Oh, I do like hockey. Weightlifting. Yeah. 
They broke another kid's toy. Here, have this other toy. Pay for it. It's not my problem. Yeah, shouldn't have beat up my kid. And wow, that was a terrible idea for the justice meter. Where do babies come from? I don't actually know. You, you kind of appeared like a David Blaine trick. Maybe it's a stork. Do girls have cooties? Absolutely. <laughs> this kid is literally going to have no friends. Like his whole life. Choose a babysitter. Girl next door. Ex-husband. Oh, I like that the ex-husband only came up one other time and it was five years ago. Grandma. So wait, if I choose the ex-husband, is the kid going to die? Is he going to die? He is. He hates the ex-husband. The ex-husband actually broke my child's justice. All right, I guess grandma. I didn't even know I had a grandma. Oh, grandma was a bad idea too. I love that the best choice is this random girl next door that I've never met before. Cheated on a quiz. Absolutely. Good job. I don't care how many points I lose for that. What to eat for lunch. Gummy worms, Lunchables, cookies. All of these options are bad. Have you ever seen the ingredients list in a Lunchable? I love that this game thinks it's a good idea, too. <laughs> How long should kids study for? Three hours? Th Ten hours? <laughs> oh, my God. Study until you know the entire encyclopedia. He loves it. He's like, yay. I love studying until I pass out from exhaustion. My friends want to come over. How many times do I have to tell you? You don't have any friends. What should I get for my kid's birthday? Nintendo book arts and crafts every time I get this kid anything related to art he hates it oh never mind I guess he liked that part kid is riding a two-wheeled bike at training wheels tell him to do a flip yep <laughs> oh no oh he's still alive but just barely <laughs> tell the kid to do their chores yeah make your bed oh he likes making his bed it also gave him some stamina back loud noises and your kid can't sleep no such thing as ghosts crack a joke the boogeyman might get you are these legitimate noises is there actually a poltergeist in the house i think i'll just crack jokes and hope that he doesn't realize that we are in fact haunted your kid starts swearing scream spank go berserk Go berserk! <laughs> I want a new toy. No toys. Actually, you can have these plastic blocks, which I'll probably find all around the house murdering my feet. All right, melon head, I want more dessert. Okay, no more vegetables. Congratulations, tonight's dessert is chocolate covered asparagus. That almost killed him. <laughs> That's eight years old, the kid keeps growing, man. So. My kid's eight years old, and I'd like to take a moment to mention he still lives inside of a cardboard box. He doesn't even have space to lay down anymore. I have literally cultivated Bruce Wayne. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Parenting Choices. Till next time, stay foxy. Much love.